Welcome to this introduction to Gamebryo Lightspeed, the revolutionary game development system for multi-genre, multi-platform game creation from emergent game technologies. Gamebryo Lightspeed offers a lot of new functionality, including rapid prototyping, and we define this as quickly being able to stand up content in a playable form to evaluate technology, assess level and asset look and feel, and gameplay mechanics. There's also a new scripting and game logic system. We're now supporting Lua with a Lua debugger and also have a reference implementation for Python, but you can actually implement whatever scripting language you want using SWIG. We also support rapid iteration, and this means real-time updates, changing the game without recompiling. Art, levels, behaviors, all can be added to a running game without having to recompile and instantly see the change. And it's all data-driven. This means we're doing hot loading of assets directly to the game, directly to the tools, and also minimizing the number of restarts you have to do to see the changes in your game. We also have one workflow from prototype to publish, so the work that you do on your prototype is equivalent to the work that you'll be doing on making your final game, and you can reuse a lot of that initial development work on your final game. Now in this overview, we're going to quickly go through a lot of what you're going to be able to see in the subsequent demo videos. There's a new tool architecture. We're going to go over three tools in the NC modeling tool, the world builder, and the Lua debugger. We'll quickly review terminology, and then we'll take a quick look at how the framework works um, relative to those of you familiar with Gamebryo. First, Toolbench. Toolbench is an extensible platform for hosting game content tools. It's written in C-Sharp and .NET, and our clients and partners can write their own plugins to extend Toolbench functionality. If you want to make a new racetrack editor, there's a lot of reusable infrastructure you can use, a GUI, an undo-redo mechanism, networking, logging, a lot of technologies that you can pull upon to make a brand new tool without having to recreate the wheel. Now the NC modeling tool and the next few tools we're going to discuss are all plugins to Toolbench. The NC modeling tool is a system for creating data models of in-game concepts using a visual tool. Entities have properties and behaviors, and behaviors are commonly used scripts, but if you're trying to do more performant work, you can also have them be C or C++ behaviors. It's all data driven, so it facilitates rapid iteration. You make entity changes that can save to the disk that can be hot loaded into your game or into the tool. The picture you see on the screen is showing one of the trigger libraries we have with trigger sources on the left and trigger responses on the right, and we're mixing in these two things to make new triggers to add to the game. Designers can quickly mix in different entity models to make new and interesting entities to add to the game without writing code, without having to be an expert, and to get it up and running all without recompiling. World Builder is our new level editor, and it's completely integrated to the new entity system. You use the entity modeling system to define the entities, and they'll be added to palettes within World Builder, and then you'll take an entity from the palette and instantiate it into the world to define the initial conditions of the game. It's closely integrated so all the properties you define for the entity model will show up in World Builder in the entity property panel. You can change these properties for that instantiated entity or if you want to change it more globally for all entities you can quickly go back to the entity model definition and go back and forth between the entity modeling tool and World Builder very easily. And finally, the Lua Debugger. This is a very similar interface to Visual Studio. We provide syntax highlighting. You can set breakpoints. You can see the call stack and watches. You have immediate mode execution of scripting commands. It's, it's a great way to use scripts. If you've ever had a trouble before to know what's wrong with my scripts or you've been searching through log files to see what the problem is, the Lua Debugger is going to be your best friend. OK, a quick review of terminology. We talked about the NT modeling tool and being able to mix in various models to define new things. We we'll use the term model not just to represent a 3D model, but a model is our collection of properties and behaviors that we're defining in a group, and we're mixing those things in together. Now, once you get a model and you start defining particular definitions for the parameters of that model, we refer to that as a preset, and you can instantiate that into the world. Now, in World Builder, 
we're using the entity models to instantiate them. For example, we've defined a fire giant and we bring that into the world. So we have giant one, which is a fire giant, and giant two, which is a fire giant. So here we're defining the initial conditions for our entities. And then finally we have the game, which of course takes those initial conditions and starts the game that way, but we can also have runtime created entities defined from those models as well. And finally, those of you familiar with Gamebryo may like to know where this new game framework stands up. Here we have the Gamebryo core runtime, which is everything you've come to know and love about Gamebryo. Multi-platform, multi-genre, threading, everything taken care of for you. Now, we've taken out some of the Gamebryo foundation. These are the utility libraries, the system service framework, communication, threading. We have brought it down underneath the core runtime so that this functionality can also be used by the new emergent game framework. This is where all of the new technology resides for the entity system, properties, behaviors, and the simulator that is running the behaviors. Now, of course, on top of this, we have partner technologies, and our partners can integrate both to the core runtime and to the new game framework. There are over 19 partners that are currently integrating their technology to Gamebryo Lightspeed. And, of course, on top of all this technology are the unique game applications that our customers develop. Okay, that'll do it for this initial introduction to Gamebryo Lightspeed. I hope you'll follow on to learn more in the demonstration videos to see the power of Gamebryo.